<laughs> no one's gonna know I faked this funeral. I'm gonna be rich. Oh no, they're coming. Precious baby boy. He was so innocent. He brought so much light into our lives. It's unbearable. Can't believe my little brother's gone. But what's with all these presents and the money? Your brother always loved gifts and money, Brody. It seemed right to have them. Okay, I guess. I'm just still in shock. I, I didn't even get to say goodbye. Tell him that I loved him. Hey, so sorry for your loss, but it's time to head home and get some rest. You've been through enough today. I think you're right. It's too painful to stay here anymore. Are they gone? Yeah, they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Good. Keep it that way. No one can ever know I had a fake funeral. Oh, is my phone in here? Oh, man, where did I put it? <coughs> Brody? Oh, hey, Dad. How's Mom doing? Your mom's an absolute wreck, so she's lying down. Yeah, I think we're all a wreck right now. Yeah, no kidding. Man, I think I left my phone at the funeral home. Well, you better go back and get it, Brody, because I'm not going to buy you a new one. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back. Man, my phone better be around here somewhere. <laughs> this is sweet. I'm so rich now. What the heck? Braylon? Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. He's alive? Did he fake his own funeral? Oh my gosh, I got to catch him. Braylon, stop. For hours, I can't find Braylon anywhere in town. I know he's hiding. Such a spoiled brat. Where on earth have you been, Brody? You've been gone for hours, and you better have a good excuse. Sorry, I was I was looking for Braylon. What are you talking about? I saw Braylon leave the funeral home with a lot of cash. He's alive. How dare you say such crazy things? It's true. I swear I saw him. That funeral was fake. He lied to us. Your brother is dead. Dead. Why on earth would you say that? Are you just seeing things? Do you miss him that much? No, I saw him leave the funeral home. I was chasing him. No, no, no. That's enough. I can't stand this. Maybe we should go on that vacation we talked about. Get away from all of this. You know what? That's a good idea. I I'll go pack. Wait, you're leaving now? I need you to help me find Braylon, please. No, we're going away on vacation and getting away from you and this nonsense. Look what you did. You're breaking your mother's heart with these lies. I'm not lying. Braylon is. He's dead, Brody. The sooner you accept it, the sooner we can move on. I can't believe they don't believe me. I know he's alive, and I'm going to prove it. There's no way your brother's still alive, man. He was hit by that car. Yeah, that's what we all thought. But there's something else going on. He must have faked it or something. Well, dude, if that's true, it's pretty messed up. Look, that's the car he was driving. No way. There's got to be like a million Robux in here. That's kind of strange. But if this is his car, where is he? Hey, you two! Put your hands up right now! Uh, officer, wait. I think you can help me. I'm looking for my brother. Yeah, and I'm looking for a stolen car. And look at that. Here it is. With you two criminals who took it. And a ton of cash? Oh, yeah, that's gonna be mine. What? No, seriously. We didn't steal this car. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. And I'm so sick of hearing it. Now, you bozos are under arrest. No, come on. That's what you get for following me, Brody. <laughs> this is too good. First, you say that your brother is alive, and now you're stealing sports cars? What's gotten into you, son? Dad, I didn't steal the car. That's why they let me out of jail. Then who did, huh? I saw Braylon driving it. It must have been him. Brody, you didn't see your brother. You're really starting to lose your mind. I'm perfectly fine, Dad. I know what I saw. Honey, do you have everything packed? Yes, although I can't believe we're leaving right now after our son was arrested. Yeah, I can't believe you're leaving me too. I mean, you should be staying here and helping me out. Maybe we should stay? Clearly Brody is upset. Or maybe he should come with us. No, Brody can stay here and think about what he's done. I don't want him bringing this nonsense with us. Come on, honey, let's go. Mom, please, you've got to believe me. I wish I could, honey, but I can't. It hurts too much. Now, we're going to be gone for a while and we won't have any cell service. So if it's an emergency, call the police, okay? I love you and feel better. Everything is going to be okay. Unbelievable. Oh, man, I can't sleep. Just keep thinking about my brother. Oh, no. Someone's breaking into the house. Get out of my house. Oh, stop. It's me. What the heck? Braylon? Yeah, dude. Who else would it be? I knew you were alive. I knew I wasn't crazy. Huh. Oh, cut it out, dude. You faked your own funeral. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? You know what you've done to us? I had to do it. Oh, you had to? You had to lie to your own family? You had to break your mother's heart? Oh, you don't understand. Oh, yeah? 
Try me. Give me one reason why this is okay. T I can't tell you. It's a secret. And if I do tell you, you could be in serious trouble. Fine, at least tell me what you're doing here. I wanted some food. I'm starving. Where's mom and dad? They left on a vacation because they're super upset because they think that you're dead. They left on vacation without me? Oh, that sucks. Whatever, just keep it that way. Don't tell them anything. Did they leave you any money? No, I have my own money. Well, they give me like 500 bucks. No way. <sighs> Whatever, you're so lame. And you're a spoiled brat, dude, and you're a liar. So what? You know what? I'm over this. You're giving me a headache. Mom and dad are gone. I'm going to bed. First thing in the morning, you're going to tell me everything, dude. Whatever. Just leave me alone. I'm telling you, dude. He's upstairs asleep right now. What the heck, man? That's insane. Yeah, you're telling me. I want to call and tell my parents, but they're in the middle of nowhere with no cell service. I have to wait till they come back. Dude, who fakes their own death? Seriously. My spoiled brother, that's who. Now I know why he wanted gifts and money at his funeral. Yeah, dude, he scammed everybody. But, uh, hey, let me call you back. There's someone here. Hello, Brody. I'm the mayor, and this is Police Chief Rufus. Are your parents home? No, they're not. Why? What's going on? Well, we wanted to come by and say we're sorry to hear about the loss of your brother. Yeah, that's right, y'all. And that was so sad. I cried like for five minutes. I'm sorry to break it to you, but he's not dead. Oh, no, Mr. Mayors. This poor little guy is all distraught, y'all. He's losing his moms. Yes, it's true. I see it all the time. Well, I just wanted to come by and give you this invitation. The city is throwing a big fundraiser for Braylon's charity. Wait, what? Braylon's charity? I don't know what that is. Oh, yes. It's one's for all the poor people, y'all. Yes, your brother set up a charity for the poor, <laughs> and we're throwing in an event this weekend. We'd love to see you and your family there. Uh, I don't know what to say. That's okay. You going wild right now. Okay, we gonna go now, Mr. Mayors. We, You owe me some chipotle, y'all. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe he's doing this. That's right, the whole town is mourning the loss of young Braylon. The most popular boy in school. He will truly be missed by everyone, but there'll be a fundraiser for his charity this weekend. We encourage everyone to come and support and donate a ton of money. I know I'll be there, and I'm super rich, so I'll give a bunch of money. Hey, dude, I was watching that. They were talking about me. Are you serious, dude? What is this charity thing? Another scam? Well, like, before I died, I made up a charity and said I wanted people to donate to it. Isn't that awesome? No, it's wrong. This is, like, beyond messed up, dude. Oh, my gosh. You're being so dramatic. Wow, that's rich coming from you. You're the one faking your own death, lying to literally everyone. I know you're just doing this to scam money and gifts from people. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of, not really, but, like, okay, yeah. What's that even mean, dude? Can you just tell me the truth and stop being an idiot? I told you. I can't tell you what's going on. You have to, or I'm going to tell everyone this is fake. Whatever, loser. You're literally being so lame. I've got business to take care of. I'll be back later. Business? You don't even have a job. Where are you going, dude? Shut up. I'm out of here. Yo, dude, I'm here. Get out here now. Oh, about time, loser. Sorry. Things got, like, really complicated. Yeah, I don't care. Where's my money? Here it is, but, uh, I only could get, like, part of it. Fine, man. It's a start, but I'm gonna need all that money you spent, dude. Hey, bro. I'm just trying my best. It's hard to make money when you're, like, dead. I have to stay hidden. Plus, I told you I was sorry. Thought that was your money. I don't care what you thought, dude. Just get me the money, or you're gonna be sorry. Don't worry. I've got a big charity event happening this weekend, and I'll get you the rest of the money after it's over. And then some more. We can go, like, hang out or whatever. Shut up. You better have my money. Get off my property right now. And we're not friends anymore. We're never hanging out again. I don't want to see you after this. All right, fine. Okay, you got this, Braylon. You're going to do this for just a little longer, and then you'll be free of this mess. Oh, this sucks. Oh, man, this better be him. Hi, honey. We're home. Oh, gosh. Mom, Dad, thank goodness you're back. Really? We were only gone for a week, son. How are you feeling? Any better? No, not at all. And Braylon's definitely alive. I know it sounds crazy, but he was here. He broke in. Oh, no, not this again. Please, I can't deal with this. I thought you would have let this go by now. Look at what you did to your mother. She just walked in through the door. Sorry, Dad, but he was here in this house, I swear. He's supposed to be coming back and- Look, enough is enough. We have your brother's charity event tomorrow night. If you don't straighten up, you'll have to stay home. No, none of us should go. What? Don't go. Are, are you insane? We have to go. No, it's all a scam. It's one of Braylon's tricks like the funeral. You have to believe me. That's it. You are not allowed to go to the event anymore. You're going to embarrass your mother and I with this nonsense, and I won't listen to it. Fine. I don't want to go anyway. Oh, my gosh. They still don't believe me. I need some kind of proof to show them that Braylon's still alive. They have to see it for themselves. 
Are you even listening to me or are you just stupid? I said I want the new Supreme hoodie in my size and I want it now. Well, sir, we're sold out of your size, okay? We have plenty of other designs that are- No, 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 I don't care. I want what I want and I always get what I want. Go to another store and get my size. The new Supreme hoodie. Wow. Oh. Gosh, all right. God, you're the worst. Yeah, sure thing. Go now. There you are. Uh, um, uh, excuse me, sir. I, I don't think I know you. What's your name? Shut up, Braylon. You're terrible at doing voices. Take off your stupid disguise. Ugh, fine, whatever. I had you fooled for a second, though. No, you didn't. Enough is enough, man. You need to come home, and you need to tell mom and dad the truth right now. <laughs> no, no way. You can't tell me what to do. I don't care. They need to know. You should see them, dude. They're a wreck. They miss you a lot. I, I don't know how you can do this to them. Yeah, okay, look. I miss them, too. If I tell you, mom, or dad the truth, everyone's gonna be in danger. Why? What did you do, man? I just did something really stupid, okay? I'll tell you more about it after the charity event. Dude, you've already done a bunch of stupid stuff. You're coming home with me right now. Sorry, dude. Not gonna happen. Ha! Ow, Braylon, what the heck, dude? God, I wish I knew what Braylon was up to, dude. I know he's doing something even more messed up than last time. Man, I hate to say it, but your brother really sucks. Yeah, I know. He's so spoiled, and he does, like, nothing but lie. And he won't even tell me why he faked the funeral. That's the worst part. So, like, what's going on with this big charity event? I mean, it's all over the news. Where's the money even going to go to? So, my guess is he's just going to take the donations for himself. Yep, sounds like your brother. I remember he used to scam kids at school for their lunch money all the time. Yeah, dude, I'm going to need your help catching him. We can't let him keep doing this i don't know man last time i helped you we got framed for stealing a car i know but this time if we catch him there's no way we can get in trouble uh okay fine so what's your plan on catching your brother i got an idea Thank you for throwing this event for our son's charity, officer. All these people here be giving so much monums. This is like the biggest charity events in Hermsbury. This is wild, y'all. Oh, man. I think the whole town is here. Oh, sweet. There should be so much money now. Now I just need to find a way to get in without getting caught. Oh, yeah. I think the money's in here. Yeah, I don't think so, man. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. I'm trying to be in and out, okay? No. I'm taking you to go talk to mom and dad right now. They can't keep believing your lies. No, you're gonna ruin everything. I don't care. Let's go. You suck. I'm out of here, stupid idiot. Oh! I wasn't gonna let you go that easy. Thanks for helping me out, Connor. Ouch, what the heck, dude? Put me down right now. Yeah, sure, you got it. Oh! What the? Look, I'm not crazy. Oh, uh, hey, mom. Hey, dad. Saw, dude. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Braylon, you're, you're alive? Um, okay, you're supposed to be dead, y'all. This is terrible and wild. We need to get away from all these crowds. You need to come down to the police station with me right now. Okay, so I don't understand many things, but what I know is you fakes your own funerals. So why'd you do that, y'all? That's bad. I'm not telling you anything. Where's my lawyer? Dude, for one, you don't need a lawyer. And two, Officer Rufus is just trying to help you. Tell him what's going on so we can get you out of whatever mess you got yourself into. No, I can't say anything, especially not to police. Okay, you know what, y'all? Let's take a break because I'm hungrums and I need the burritos. So I'll be right back. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm great. You already got caught for being alive and stealing from your own fake charity. I think it's time to come clean with everybody, dude. This is getting annoying. I just had to do it, okay? Just tell me why! My goodness, dude! Fine! I spent a lot of money that belonged to Percy's dad. Your friend Percy? Why? His mom and dad wouldn't give me enough money. Percy said I could have some, but he, like, didn't tell me it was his dad's. He said it was his, but it wasn't. And then his dad found out. Now he wants his money back. How much did you spend? Like, five million dollars, I think. Think? Five million dollars on what, dude? What the heck? What's the big deal? I needed some, like, new clothes, a new car, like a yacht. Unbelievable. How can you spend all that money so quickly? You know what, dude? I'm done helping you. You put yourself in this mess, you can get yourself out of it. So wait, you're just gonna leave me here? I mean, I just told you everything that happened. Help me. Yeah, and it's worse than I thought, man. You stole five million dollars from someone. I think you should stay so you can think about what you've done. We're so sorry we didn't believe you, honey. Well, I'm glad you guys finally know. And now I know why he made all this mess. Well, why'd he do it, huh? Why did he fake his funeral? Well, he spent $5 million of Percy's dad's money, and now he wants it back. So that's why he's trying to steal the money from the charity event. Five million dollars? Oh no, this is terrible. 
This is Braylon's mess. He lied to everybody and he stole $5 million. I mean, he needs to learn why this is wrong. Hey, that is your little brother, young man. We should be helping him. After everything he's put us through, you let him off the hook and you help him? I mean, dad, every single decision he made was the worst decision possible. Your brother never deals with stress very well, so we need to help him. Maybe we can sell off some of the cars or the house. I think that can get us close to the amount. Maybe. Oh, man. Unbelievable. What is going on with you guys? He's so spoiled. You guys can't see what you're doing. You're turning him into this. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Whew. Did y'all see your little brothers, y'all? No. Okay, this ain't good, y'all. Okay, because your little brothers escaped from the police stations. What? Yes, and that's not good because he be going wild. Okay, I just got to go looking for him, y'all. Now he's escaping from jail. You guys proud? Oh, no. Your poor brother. I've had enough of this. I'm, I'm out of here. Police are still looking for him. Now he's hiding somewhere? I'm just so disappointed. He needs to pay for what he's done. Hey, idiot, you're late. Yeah, sorry, boss. I just woke up late, that's all. Well, you're here now. So go organize the new products in the back. I don't even want to look at your ugly face. Get away from me. Yeah, okay, sure. Dude, what the heck are you doing here? Shh, I'm hiding, obviously, you idiot. Gosh, I'm calling the cops. No, 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 please don't do not do that. Come on. Why? Because if I get put in jail, Percy's dad's going to know exactly where I am. He'll come and find me. Who cares? Why are you so scared of Percy's dad? I mean, you're just going to get in trouble for stealing the money. No, dude. He's like super rich, and I think he's dangerous. Percy said he's like a criminal of some kind. But I don't know. I'm scared, man. Please, I, I need your help. Fine, dude. Whatever. I didn't see you, but you got to hide somewhere else. A manager could find you easily. You got to be smarter if you're going to be doing stuff like this. But I don't have anywhere else to go. What am I going to do? Uh... <sighs> Gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Here, take some money and go get a hotel room or something. Not a fancy hotel room, okay? Somewhere low key. I'll try to figure out how to fix this. All right. Thanks, dude. Do you have like any more money? Just get out of here before I punch you. I swear. Well, I guess if you need to solve a problem, it's best to go straight for the source. Uh, yeah, stop right there. This is private property. You need to leave. Yeah, I'm here to talk to Percy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Excuse me, sir. Some poor loser is here looking for you. Tell him it's Braylon's brother, Brody. Uh, he says he's Braylon's brother. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, sir. You can go on in loser. But don't touch anything. Yeah, whatever, dude. Hey, Percy, what are you doing here, man? Where's your brother? I don't know, but I gotta talk to you. I don't have anything to say to you, man. I have to talk to your brother. Percy, look, I know Braylon spent some money that belonged to your dad. Some money? That loser stole five million dollars. My dad saw it missing from his bank account. You know how mad he is, dude? I know. Braylon's really sorry. But can we work out a deal or something? You guys are so rich. Like, five million's probably not that much. No, we can't work out a deal. My dad's out there looking for him right now. Do you even know who my dad is and how he makes his money, man? He doesn't like when people steal from him. So tell me where your brother is. I don't know where he is, okay? Then you're both in a lot of trouble. Security! Oh no, you're not running away from me. Get back here! Oh gosh. Braylon gave me some stupid fake name for his hotel room. You better be here. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Uh, excuse me. Which room is Chad McFarlane staying in? Oh, Mr. McFarlane. He rented the penthouse suite. What? Yeah, he said he was super rich and he demanded our best room. Honestly, he was kind of rude. You can take the elevator over there. Thanks, man. Gosh, what the heck is wrong with him? Oh, dude, there you are. Did you bring me the pizza like I asked for? No, I didn't. How did you even pay for this room? Do you have any idea how expensive this is? I don't know. I mean, I figured, like, you'd just pay for it. Yeah, I'm not paying for it. Uh, whatever. Did you fix everything yet? Is, like, Percy's dad not mad at me anymore? No, I tried to, man. Turns out when you steal $5 million from somebody, they don't get over it very quickly. Oh, dude, this sucks. So, like, what did you do? I went to Percy's house to talk to him. You did what? Yeah, I tried to work out a deal, but Percy said no. Of course he said no. Oh, you are so stupid, you know that? Now he knows that you know the truth. Well, you're the one that basically stole the money. Yeah, but I wanted to keep you, Mom, and Dad out of it. Now this is bad. This is really, really bad. Why? Because I found out Percy's dad definitely runs an underground gang. He's super dangerous. Great, it's dad. Hold on. Hey, dad. Brody, you need to come home right now. It's an emergency. Uh, okay, I'll be right there. It sounds like mom and dad are in trouble. I gotta go. I told you so. Oh, no, no. Our house. Guys, what happened? We have no idea. We came home from having dinner out and the house was on fire. This is terrible. All of our things are gone. Wait, what's that over there? 
a no. Brody, give me my money back or give me a brother. If you don't, I'm gonna ruin your family's lives. Oh my gosh, this is awful. We need to call the police immediately. Hello, 911? Yes, I'm extremely distraught. Send someone down here now. I told you, I want a gold-plated steak or nothing at all. I'll tell the chef right away, sir. Talking to people who work for us with disrespect. <laughs> I taught you well. Hey, Dad, did you find Braylon or his dumb brother yet? No, they weren't home, so I burned it to the crown. Good, they deserved it. Your little friend and his brother could cause a lot of problems for this family. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do, Dad, and I'm sorry I let him spend your money. It's too late for apologies now, kid. If that money gets treated back to me we could be ruined what should i do they're hiding now they know that you're after him i need you and our security team to go out there get those boys and bring them to me yeah i will dad i promise oh yes we'll make them pay there's nothing left all of our memories all of our things just gone like that because of Braylon and his stupid spoiled attitude. Hey, don't talk about your brother like that. He didn't burn our house down. He might as well have. This is all his fault. The police have no evidence who was behind this. Are you serious, man? You know who it was. It was Percy's dad. And this is all because Braylon stole from him. Your brother just, uh, just got carried away. That's all. No, you guys spoiled him his whole life. You think he can just take whatever he wants and lie and scam people. The reality is, is nobody else cares about him. They care about their money. Now we're all in serious trouble because of him. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Your brother is missing, and if I could, I would make him face the consequences for his actions. But I can't! For now, we just have to try and find anything worth saving. Get to looking. It just sucks. He should be here, not hiding in some dumb penthouse. Hold on. Do you know where your brother is? Yeah, he's hiding at a fancy hotel downtown. Ho, ho, ho. Well then, I'm going to go get him. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Brody is right. Enough's enough. Braylon's spoiled attitude has gone too far. I've lost my home now because of my own son. I'm gonna get him and bring him straight to the police station. Ah! What the heck was that? Hey, you idiot! You hit my car in a red light! Shut up, you're coming with me. Excuse me, who even are you? Yeah, you'll find out soon enough. Ah! Oh, help, help me! Oh! <laughs> Dude, you and your family can stay at my house as long as you want. My parents said it was totally okay. You guys are the best. Thanks for having our back in this situation. I know it's dangerous. Uh, no problem, man. Your brother can't stay with us, though. He might steal something and try to sell it. I don't know. Yeah, I get it, dude. Don't worry. He's still in hiding anyway. Uh, dude? What happened to our house? Well, this is what happens when you steal $5 million from somebody that runs a criminal gang. This isn't my fault, dude. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Come on, where's dad? Didn't he go to get you? What? Why? He literally was like, I'm on the way to the hotel to get you. Uh, he never came to the hotel. I just got kicked out because I couldn't pay for the room. Oh, no. Come on. Dad, pick up. Uh, he didn't answer? Uh, this isn't good. Percy's dad might have taken him. Great. Now my dad might be kidnapped. This is your fault, dude. I, I can't believe you. No, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything. I was in a penthouse room playing video games. Look, enough. You need to come with me. Ew, why? Where are we going, the mall? No, the police. Let's go. Yeah, no, I'm not going to jail, loser. Later. So there's nothing that you can do. I know you really sad, y'all, and I'm really sorry, ma'ams, but I can't find your husbands. We found his car, though, and, but there's no trace of him anywhere. It's like, that man gone, y'all. Officer Rufus, I think at this point, it's safe to say that Percy's dad took him. He's the one that was behind the fire, and now this. Okay, so here's the truth. I love to arrest bad guys, y'all, okay? That's kind of what I do, but I need evidence to do it, y'all. Otherwise, there's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry. I got to go back out there, though, and for your dads, okay? If that man's after you, you stay here where it's safe. How am I not supposed to worry? Your dad has been kidnapped and our home is destroyed. And where is your brother in all of this? I don't know. He ran away again. Well, you need to go get him. We need his help. He's too scared. He doesn't want to face the consequences of his actions. Maybe if we give him some money? No, mom, geez, this is how you got into this mess. Okay, okay, you're right. I just, I don't know what to do. Don't worry, I'll get Braylon to help us out one way or another. Why on earth am I being held captive in a cage? It's simple. 
Your son stole my money and I want it back. Then go get it from him. I don't know what to tell you. I tried. He's hiding and won't give me the dough. Probably because he spent it all. Oh, is that so? I'm getting that five million back one way or another. Give me his phone. You're gonna transfer all your money to me. Absolutely not. There's no way I would ever do such a thing. If you ever want to see your family again, you'll do as I say. I burned your house down. Imagine what else I could do. Ugh, fine. I can't believe I'm doing this. Here, I transferred the money, but that's all I have. <laughs> that's a start. I need more. I told you I don't have any more. Fine, then I'll get it from your family. No, no, please leave them alone. Bring me that ugly one, Brody, and bring him to me now. Dude, how are we gonna find your stupid spoiled brother anyways? The city's huge. I don't know, man. He has no money and no skills, so he probably hasn't gone very far. Well, we haven't checked out the park. Let's see if he's there. Yeah, good idea. I think we should split up. Might cover more ground that way. All right, sounds good. Hey, you! I've been looking for you. Oh, no! Oh, you're not gonna run away from me this time! <sighs> Why are all these kids running? I hate it! No, no, no! <laughs> Nowhere left for you to run. You're coming with me. No, he's not. Brody, now. Ha, ha. Take this. Leave me alone. Oh, you kids are crazy. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Well, I'm glad I saw that guy chasing after you. But I don't think it's safe for us out here anymore. I know. You should go home. I can find Braylon on my own. But we've looked basically everywhere. How are you going to find him? Just trust me. I think I know where he is. He better be here. Yep, of course he is. Oh, come on, you stupid car. Why won't you open? Open sesame or something. Oh! Dude, what do you think you're doing? Ew, are you like stalking me? No, I came to get you. I need your help. My help? With what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe saving our family. Dude, everyone's gonna be like, fine. Just like chill. No, they won't. You don't care about your family at all. I don't understand. Of course I care. But I lied to them. I lied to everyone. Y'all are better off without me. So that's why I'm like getting out of here. It's not true. We love you, dude. We just wish that you told us the truth and you stop acting so spoiled. Well, it's too late for the truth now. It's never too late. Just help me now. Face the consequences of your actions and save your family. Do the right I think for once. Fine, I will. Just being on the run like sucks anyways. And I miss my family. I miss you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. Thank you. You know where I can find dad? No idea. But I think I know who does. All right, let's see if this works. What? Hey, it's me. I'm out front and I have your dad's money. <sighs> Good. About time, you idiot. I'll be right there. Braylon, show yourself, man. Give me the money. Here's your money, Percy. What the? How did you? Ah! Yo, good job, dude. Let's take this loser to the police. All right, Persons. I think it's time you spill them beams. Where's your dad's keeping their daddy, y'all? Yeah, no way I'm telling on my dad. Why? Just because he's your dad? No, I don't care about that, man. If he gets arrested, I lose all my money. You already lost, Percy. Just tell Officer Rufus the truth. Yeah, because you know what the truth means. You're the one that stole from us. <sighs> You know what? You're right. Officer Rufus, I need to tell you the truth. Okay, what's the truth now, y'all? I stole money from Percy's dad. That's why he's after me and my family. <laughs> okay, what's so funny? Because I didn't hear no yokes, y'all. Oh, man, this guy's just such an idiot. He hasn't even figured it out yet. He didn't steal the money. I did. Wait, what? You made Braylon think he was the thief? Cha, I told my dad the same thing. I took the money and made Braylon spend it. It's all been a scam. I has had it up to here with all this non-sams. And by the way, you just confessed to a crime, so you're going to Yale, y'all. No, nah, no, nah, please. I don't want to go to jail. I'll, uh, I'll get the money back to my dad. It's like taking my own money, man. You can't just arrest me for that. Okay, I don't know as much about monums, but all I know is you better do what's right. And you're going to tell me right now where Brody and Braylon's dad's is. Are you going to jail for a long, long, long time? Fine, I'll tell you everything. Ugh, stupid kid, answer your stupid phone! Yeah, boys will be boys. My sons never answer the phone when I call either. Shut up! Something must be wrong. Oh my gosh, boys! You found me! Dad, I'm so glad you're okay. What? How did you find me? Percy told us everything. He told us the truth. <laughs> what truth? I didn't do it. Your stupid son did. 
And here, this is it. They'll let my dog go. My son's a liar and a thief? Yeah, he is. Perfect. <laughs> Later, losers. Not so fast, creepy bams. You want to arrest for kidnap and steal and being a criminal. No!